today I'm going to be sharing some iced tea, <laughs> that was not a quote from me, <laughs> about trading and the data loss issue. So in case you didn't know, the reason why trading hasn't been released yet is because of the data loss issues and people have been like losing diamonds and stuff. And for trading to work, these issues just can't be happening because you know, you're transferring data from one account to another, which is like really complex. And so yeah, if data loss issues are happening when trading's out, that's like a really big problem. <laughs> And so yeah, I think this was yesterday. Yeah, it was yesterday. And so I went on to Rare High. I was like grinding diamonds. I reckon it was for like half an hour-ish. And I know I saved up 11k because I saw I had like 268k. I left the new Rare High and then I went on to Divinium and then I saw this. So I was wearing an outfit that I had changed after like a bit. And I also had the amount of diamonds that I had started with before I was grinding grinding so that meant that it had unsaved everything from when I had grinded meaning I lost like the diamonds and the outfit changes but the outfit changes don't really matter too much but it was the diamonds I was kind of like oh, I really want them back you know so yeah I made this tweet you know hoping that they would come and help and yeah D Dog tweeted me they DM'd me and we got that all sorted out and so yeah, about the issue, it seems to only be happening in private servers, not public ones. So definitely, if you're in like pub private servers, it may not be the best idea to grind diamonds just in case your diamonds don't save. And also, yeah, pretty much anything that you really want to save, do it in a public server, not a private one, at least for now. Although I do know that they are working on it, so hopefully, you know, they'll be able to get the data loss issue sorting soon. They're planning on adding more data saves so like it will save your stuff more frequently on private servers and hopefully that will help stop the issue. <laughs> And so now we have this tweet, so this is from D-Dog, the scripter, well one of the scripters, and he replied to my message and said, Hi, sorry you experienced this, we've added some more saving points to take care of cases where some players' data still isn't saving in private servers. As soon as there are no more reports whatsoever, we will release trading. Message from ICE. So yeah, Ice is the other scripter that does the scripting for our high, so D-Dog was just passing the message since Ice doesn't actually have a Twitter. And so yeah, as soon as the data issues stop, that means trading will be released. Hopefully it will like stop soon, but you know what, we can't rush them. <laughs> because yeah, I definitely don't want to lose any more diamonds, that was scary. <laughs> And also, there was like an error about like teleporting to classes and they are working on it. And now here is a tweet from, who is this from? <laughs> Call me Kira and she said RHT spill and then D-Dog replied. Someone just spilled a big glass of iced tea. So yeah, there's the iced tea, I guess. <laughs> so yeah, definitely, if you have any data loss issues, don't be scared of, you know, tweeting them, reporting the problem. Also, if I'm correct, D-Dog's DMs are open, so you can always DM him if you have issues. Don't just, like, not tell him just so that trading will come sooner, because otherwise trading will be a disaster. <laughs> And then you'll be there, you know, knowing you could have helped with it, and then you didn't, and then it just won't be good. <laughs> So, in case any of you were wondering, yes, I did get my diamonds back. They are all safe and sound in my inventory, you know. <laughs> Maybe with a few extras, but we're not going to talk about that. <laughs> but anyways, let's just move on to some other leaks. And so here we have this tweet by Kamaki saying... I was looking at the boots that they adopted in Rare High, and I thought, why not make the other couples? It's only a sample. Rock style. And so yeah, Night Barbie saw this. By the way, Kamaki, one of her accessories has already been added to the game. And the fuzzy earrings were also added to Chrome Bob's inventory. But the fuzzy earrings are not in game, but the mermaid royalty is. But anyways, let's just look at this picture. Ooh, okay. So they seem to be some like spiky boots. They have some like gold lacing on them and stuff. Okay, they look really cool. I really want these. <laughs> they would look so good with the punk earrings. No, not punk earrings. 
I mean, there might be punk earrings, <laughs> but no, I meant the punk bracelet because that has spikes as well. So, you know, it matches really well. And so, yeah, Night Barbie replied to this. Then she replied to Komeki's other tweet and said, Wow, wow, wow. Yes, please. <gasps> And then Kamaki responded saying that she would pass the boots to her. And so because the other accessories were added to Komabob's inventory, let's go and see if the new boots are also added to Komabob's inventory. So here we are on Komabob's profile. She has not changed her shout and is still talking about the Tower of Hell. But anyways, if we go into inventory and we scroll down, here we are at models. And there we go, rock style. Oh, I like that. Rock style punk boots. You know, that is a great name. <laughs> And so yeah, they look pretty much just like they do in the picture. I don't think they've changed at all. Made by Kamaki, of course. And so yeah, I'm really hoping these get added to the game because they look so cute and you know, I love accessories. <laughs> also, if we come to audio, there are lots of new ones. There is the put out fire. Oh my gosh, did you guys hear that? We can actually hear it. Okay, let's listen to this again. Okay, so it definitely sounds like an extinguisher is putting out fire. I mean, why would there be fire in a resort though? <laughs> um, I'm a bit scared. Are we going to be setting fire to all of the different houses? Um, yeah, maybe let's not do that. <laughs> I mean, it does say put out fire, so maybe we're just going to like burn something, you know? Burn some cookies. We'll be able to make cookies. I mean, maybe not cookies, but yeah, I'm really wondering what this put out fire is for. Like, what's going to be on fire for us to put out? <laughs> but anyways, there are also three other ones, Curtain, Terror, and Sparkles. Let's just go and see if we can hear any of them. You guys heard that? <gasps> There's a curtain thing! Okay, so it seems to be like closing or opening curtains. Um, will we be able to like interact with stuff in houses? Yes, I'm definitely sensing there is going to be like some sort of like camp house, especially with the screenshots that I saw before. There seem to be like a staircase leading to like a sort of, a sort of like wood house, what's it called? <laughs> a cabin, that's it, a cabin. So yeah, maybe this cabin is going to set on fire or there's going to be some food that we can make in the cabin that gets set on fire and then we put it out and then there's also the curtains that we can open and close, which means there's probably some new animations as well. But first of all, let's hear the other audios. Well, see if we can hear them. <laughs> what? guys hear that um that sounds like really weird so it literally just sounds like some people screaming that that noise is just the weirdest noise ever <laughs> oh my gosh <laughs> it sounds like a ghost <laughs> that, that that's just really weird <laughs> Oh my gosh, now I'm wondering if any of the old audios are hearable because before you couldn't hear a lot of them can we hear them now Oh, we can definitely hear them. <laughs> so I think we're literally just going to go and listen to all of them now that we, like, can hear them, you know. I'm guessing before they hadn't added the actual audio, but now they have. Okay, so I guess that is all of the audios and they all sound really cool. I'm really glad that we can now hear them. I don't think I missed out on any. Yeah, these are all just like the trading ones and stuff. <laughs> And so yeah, I guess those are all of the audios. They sounded amazing. And yeah, I'm really wondering like what some of these things are, like the put out fire <laughs> and the terror. Like what terrible thing is there that's going to scare us away? <laughs> um, hopefully it's not too bad. <gasps> what if there's a sea monster? I just thought like what if there's a sea monster like comes out of a ski and scares everyone? <laughs> 
<laughs> oh my gosh, I'd absolutely love that. But anyways, let's just move on to the animations. Oh, okay, these are all the flying ones. I thought it was something new for a bit because they saw Superman. But yeah, that's just one of the like flying idol poses or something. And then there's also airplanes, spinning slash flapping. <laughs> um, okay. And so yeah, these ones are all like already in game, you can see them if you go and like, you know, double tap to fly. Although like if you're on mobile, you can't get the full experience sadly. <laughs> so before we end this video, there was actually more stuff that has literally just been added to Koma Bob's inventory. Just a few more leaks. And so there are some small bites. Um, maybe we'll be eating s'mores over the campfire. And then we'll, you know, be roasting some marshmallows. Yum yum. I definitely want some of that. <laughs> and then there are also four sleeping bags. Also, if you come to the audio, I actually was able to hear the two one. I can't hear it now when I was never able to hear the one one. But I do think it is like a sleeping bag opening and closing since the two one was definitely like the sleeping bag zip. So the one one could just be like the sleeping bag ruffling or something like that. <laughs> The thing is though, this whole campfire thing, because there are also some things about talking, there's short talk with hand behind, long talk, short talk, talking, bow, idle, okay they don't really have anything to do with it. But I was thinking, what if we are just here sitting by the fire, telling some stories, and then a monster comes and terrifies us all? <laughs> because that would explain the terror audio. But yeah, I'm just really wondering what all of these dog and animations are for because there are a ton. Also, why are we bowing and why are we being idle? I definitely think there is a chance that they could be NPCs. Hopefully NPCs. I want to be an NPC, but that may not happen ever. <laughs> But yeah, I would absolutely love that if there's some NPCs, maybe a ghost or two to creep us out while we're telling campfire stories. But yeah, I am definitely looking forward to seeing what Koma Bob has got up her Also sleeve. a little update from D-Dog. Him and Ice have been making a lot of changes to how the data saves in private servers. So hopefully it will all be fixed. And if you do find any errors, you can DM D-Dog on Twitter. Or if you don't have Twitter, then you can just comment it below, give as much detail as possible, your username, all of that stuff, and then I could go and forward it so to we him. We have <laughs> two final bits of tea, both from Call Me Bob. One of them is this typing indicator that changes color based on your roleplay name. So I'm not completely sure how this will work. I guess it'll just go above you. Some people are also suggesting that it's an option to turn off in the YouTuber studio, which I'm definitely hoping happens because otherwise it could kind of run role plays. <laughs> Although not many people use the chat for role plays, so I guess it's kind of okay, but at the same time it's kind of not. Anyways, <laughs> here is the final bit of iced tea from Night Barbie. And she posted this tweet saying... Every day, I wake up so excited to get another big chunk done for this new realm. Every single day, it feels like we are so close to complete. I can see the light coming closer and closer at the end of the tunnel. I can't wait to show you everything! Let's just go and see this video! Okay, here we go! And okay, you can hear the waves noise. I'm not sure if you will be able to hear it or not. But oh my gosh, this literally looks amazing! Okay, we've got to look at this from the beginning. <laughs> Back to the beginning. Okay, so you can see there's some weird purple area. I don't know what this is. It seems like it's some sort of like tunnel kind of cave area. Also, look at the way the water's moving. It looks amazing. I absolutely love that. That looks so cool. And then you move on a bit more. You see a palm tree. I see one palm tree on an island. I see an amazing, beautiful sky and some beach chairs. So if we continue the video, oh my gosh, just look at this water. It's so satisfying. I absolutely love it. That is so cool. And then you go and you see island number two and you also see some torches burning. Oh my gosh, these animations are literally perfect. They are so good. Also, those sparkles coming down. 
the spark was coming down in the cave. Okay, this is literally the coolest thing ever. And then here is Kormibob on her beach chair. You can see the amazing looking sky, the amazing looking water. I want this right now. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this looks so amazing. I'm actually in love. This is actually so crazy. Look at the sky. It's so beautiful. Forget iced tea. This is beach tea. <laughs> Literally the coolest tea that could ever be spilled. This place looks amazing. I really want to see the rest. What is beyond that path? That is my question. You see that grass path over there? I want to know what's beyond that. What is everything going to look like? But I guess we will have to see it when the realm is released yeah i guess that is everything i don't think there's anything else there's never anything new in meshes it's always just the same old stuff and yeah we covered all the models all of the crazy audios so i guess that is the end of the video make sure you ring the bell to be notified you like and subscribe and thanks for watching and i hope you enjoyed